Hey y'all, welcome to a gorgeous Sunday afternoon in my Florida garden. There are butterflies flying everywhere and you guys look at this, this female golf fritillary just eclosed and look at the male. I mean, she's just hanging here trying to dry her wings and there he is. She hasn't even flown yet. Such is the life of butterflies. This little sulfur's been laying eggs all over my privet senna. There's more golf fritillaries. Look at this gorgeous male eastern tiger swallowtail. I haven't seen an eastern tiger swallowtail in my garden in weeks. So glad. So glad to be seeing that one. Earlier today, I was back here trimming my wild lime because my twine vine is right here and they were all getting tangled up. So I trimmed off all the wild lime branches that were going towards the twine vine. And while I was doing it on the twine vine, guys, on the twine vine was a queen caterpillar. And it was a small one. So I think a queen laid eggs on the twine vine. Is that not spectacular? So of course I took her in. She's inside on my twine vine now. So let's go see her. And then while I was on my way in with that little queen, I found a huge queen on my balloon milkweed. How, how had I not seen that before? I don't know, but they're both inside now. <laughs> Look at that monarch being sassy. Now the trick is to find them. All right, I see the giant queen is right there. That one was on balloon milkweed. I actually took the cutting it was on and brought it in and put it in the water with the twine vine. So right now it's still on the balloon milkweed. Now let me find the other baby. Well, that was easy. There she is. So two queens back in the house. I love it. Now I'm working on rounding up all of my bronze fennel. I have bronze fennel in all different sizes of pots. And I'm taking them all and just putting them all individually in the one gallon pots. So I can just keep regrowing them and have them at the ready to feed Eastern Black Swallowtail caterpillars. There have been Eastern Black Swallowtails in my garden yesterday and today, and they have laid eggs on everything. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to organize my bronze fennel and have it at the ready. Hey, while we're here, look what's happened. Look, oh, I didn't get it in time. It's already on the floss, but that's okay. It's all safe in my organza bag. These are seeds from Asclepius tuberosa. Yay. Here are the ones I've potted so far. Look at all the eggs on this. So they're going into these little pots. Here's one. Here's another one. And look at this, y'all. I have, like, I'm growing more. It takes forever to grow. But look, there's an egg on that tiny little plant. There's another one. Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six eggs. Because that's going to feed six caterpillars. Oh my goodness. Look at all this Rebecca Herta I grew in here. You know what's really cool about this is like I threw all the seeds in one pot. And then I can just literally watch. I'll do one now take my hand and just pinch off a plant and then go put it where I want it. Oh, I don't want the sign now. There. I'll show you where I put some so far. And it's it's really it's really working well. 
simple seeding. I put one in here with my bird pepper and my partridge pea. And then I have one of my potted wild limes. And I used to have zinnias around here and they all aged out. So anyway, I put three in here. And look what's come up on its own in here is, uh, um, oh my gosh, my mind went blank. Gringa's running around like a crazy dog. It is host plant, host plant too, the long-tailed skipper. It's something about blue. Oh my gosh, I hate it when my brain does that to me. Um, I'm, 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 all right, I'll think of it later. Hey y'all, this is future me here, popping in to say it's butterfly pea. I just planted seeds for them. I labeled it butterfly pea. I don't know why I couldn't remember it, but y'all, that's that happens to me more often than I'd like to admit. And I hear that that might be somehow connected to having had COVID. I hope it's not true. I hope it's not true. Butterfly pea, that's what it is. And there's a beautiful flower right here. I'm gonna show you real quick and then you'll get back into the video. Here is a gorgeous butterfly pea bloom. This vine is actually weaving into a zinnia. And this is the one I showed you earlier that is planted in a pot. It just came up. I didn't plant it there. And Ringo wants to say hello. <laughs> He's being rascally. And he hopes that you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, back to it. Back to it. Butterfly pea. Butterfly pea. So I have this pot here. This is where two of the bronze fennels came from. And there is a balloon milkweed in here. And then I just put in this balloon milkweed that I grew from seed where I took the two, hi, hi puppies, where I took the two bronze fennels out. And so I'm just gonna put this little heart out. Look, I can just kinda, I can just kinda snuggle it in and just pull my hand out and set it in there and just tuck it in. And there we go, easy peasy. Now the grasshoppers have really moved into my garden. Remember the one I filmed the other day? Well, here's another one. It's on the inside of my butterfly haven. It's the same kind, but it's a different one. It's smaller. I, get their, I guess they're moving into my garden. They like my salad bar. While I was in there looking at the grasshopper, I found this little guy. So I'm going to take him in and put him on the maypop in the in the lepidarium, because I have one of those. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? And there we go. And look at this on the twine vine. Look what's down here. Mm-hmm. A golf fritillary pupated on my twine vine. I'll have to be cautious. <laughs> When I replace this, I remember that it's there. Next, I'm actually going to take down one of the enclosures in the Butterfly Haven. It's the one that's like right up against the wall going out to the garden. It's right here in front of me. Because it, it really blocks the view like when we sit in our chairs and look in. And also because I have the lepidarium, I'm keeping my monarchs in there. So I don't really need this enclosure in here right now. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's this one right here, right as you come in. So see how, like here's where my chair is when I look. That enclosure just blocks everything and then I'll get like a view in. And then I think what I'll do is I'll get some Maypop started in this corner to go inside and up this side like it is the other corner, perhaps. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this gorgeous Eastern Black Swallowtail. It must have just declosed. I mean, look at it. Look at the blue. 
How beautiful. All right, I've got the enclosure moved out and it really opened up the entrance to the butterfly haven. I kind of like it. And I moved the golf fritillaries out here and I put a cover on top to keep whoever the stinker is that was eating holes through. Let me show you. So here's the entrance, like it's wide open now. And you can see right in. And then for my enclosures that have inhabitants, I have taken some weed block and put it across the top. And then I have all these little clips. These are like vinyl coated so they shouldn't rust. And I just clipped it on. So, well, first of all, it's going to hide the presence of anybody who's pupated underneath. But also, I don't think they're going to be able to chew through so easily. If roots can't break through this stuff, I don't think little, little teeth or something will. And this is the golf fritillary zebra longwing enclosure, but I currently only have golf fritillaries in here. And then over here, I have four giant swallowtail caterpillars in here and I did the same except I used these clips which I don't like because they have this metal on them and they're gonna rust some of them already are rusty so I'm gonna switch them out for these clips which I got on Amazon and of course I'll link them below for you guys. But I really think that's going to work. Not only that, but that cover of weed block adds more shade. So these little guys that are in these enclosures aren't just baking in the hot sun. So we're just keeping them more comfortable. And look at my bench. Look how close it was to the enclosures because the enclosure that used to be right there came over so much there wasn't a lot of space so i'm actually going to be able to pull my bench out and have more room between the bench and the enclosures on the back side so that's going to be awesome too hey y'all today was another spectacular gardening day and i keep thinking i gotta go back to work tomorrow but no tomorrow's labor day so i get another day off i hope you enjoyed this video and remember to tap the like button and if you've made it this far in this video, you must have enjoyed something. So you should subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe because you're going to want to keep watching. And I'll see you all in my next video.